coming to you with another one of these problems that, that I think is best solved by muirheads. It could be solved maybe by AMGM, but in any event, we're supposed to prove that uh, uh, A to the 10th plus B to the 10th plus C to the 10th is greater than or equal to A to the 9th plus B to the 9th plus C to the 9th. And we do have a condition here that the product of the variables ABC is one. Now, um, this may look like it's always true, but just to give you an example, if you were to pick A equals one half, uh, uh, or to make it simpler, uh, no, I guess we can't make it simpler, but if A is one half, um, uh, one half raised to the 10th power is actually a smaller number than one half raised to the ninth power. So for all the fractions between zero and one, this inequality is actually reversed. So it, it looks like it'd be true all the time, but it isn't at least for that interval of numbers between zero and one. Okay, but again, we're, we're dealing with a problem where we have a, a constraint here, if you want to call it that. Now, it turns out it's there's a real quick kind of clever way to, to use this initial condition. Notice that ABC is equal to one. So this inequality is absolutely equivalent to this inequality because this piece right here is just equal to one, right? Now that gives us a hint on how to apply Muirhead's inequality. Um, let me uh, come in here and just give you an idea of why we chose this majorizing sequence. Now, if you just take a look at when you multiply all these out, like we'll just deal with A. If you have A to the one, you would have A to the one third in there, right? So A to the one third uh, multiplied against a to the ninth power. And the same would be true for the other variables. This is just illustrative here. All right. So nine is the same as 27 over three. And you add your exponents here. So this would be a to the uh, 28 over three. And the same for the other variables. Um, but anyway, you get, you, you, now you can kind of see why we're picking some of these far out looking numbers here. Okay, just laws of exponents essentially. And of course, the same thing would hold for B and C. Now, just a comment about Muirhead's inequality. I'm, I'm writing down the result. I mean, what, this is what happens because of these two majorizing uh, order triples, I guess. Uh, this is true and all we have to do is figure out what these expressions are equal to to see if it's equivalent to this. Now, just to give you an idea what we mean by majorizing, uh, there's a definition of majorizing right up here. I hope you guys can, can read it. But this choice of majorizing sequences makes quite a bit of sense if you think about exponents being, uh, bases being raised to the zero power. Uh, this majorizing sequence is going to correspond to this because the B and the C are all going to be raised to the zero power. And then right here, the 20 over 3 plus the 1 over 3 plus the 1 over 3 adds up to 30 over 3, which is 10. But this guy right here is said to majorize this sequence. Notice that they both sum up to 10. If you uh, This plus this plus this sums up to 10. Okay, and then 10, of course. Uh, so that means this equality statement is satisfied right here. Let me, let me write that down. That equality statement, if you really want to just write it all out, would you would write down 10. And this, again, is verifying what it means for two sequences of exponents like this to be majorizing. So you got 10, I'm sorry, it's 10 uh, plus zero plus zero, all right, is equal to uh, 28 over three plus one third plus one third. Okay, again, 28 over three plus one third plus one third is 10, and 10 plus zero plus zero is certainly 10. So that satisfies the uh, equality condition, which is part of the verification that two sequences of exponents in this case are majorizing. Now, so how about for the case uh, k equals to two, that would correspond to uh, 10 plus zero. Okay, 10 plus zero okay, is a greater than or equal to 28 plus one third, or I mean, excuse me, 28 over three 
plus uh, one third. You know, this is getting a little sloppier, but again, this is supposed to read 10 plus zero. And we're doing the case K equals to two. Remember our N is actually equal to three here, just to be sure. N is equal to three. And so for these, for these strings of inequalities right here, we would have to start at K is equal to two, right? But K is equal to two would just be uh, 10 plus zero right here. That's where the 10 plus zero, this 10 plus this zero is uh, greater than, strictly greater than actually 28 over three plus one over three. That would be 29 over three, which is just shy of 10, right? But the condition is only greater than or equal to, so that's strongly meant. So what I, that was a little tedious, but we now know that the sequence of exponents majorizes this sequence of exponents. And according to Muirhead's inequality, when that happens, you get a statement like this. Now, this looks like a horrible mess, but uh, we're just using A, B, and C in, in lieu of A sub one, A sub two, and A sub three. All right, and when you have a majorizing sequence like this, this is a consequence of Muirhead's. This, this statement that I'm hovering over right now is implied by Muirhead's inequality. All right, so that it's kind of like half the battle is done right now, but then you still have to go through the tedium of ranging through all of these permutations. And what that means is this summation ranges through A, B, C, and the other five permutations of A, B, C. And the very same thing for this right here, okay? So we'll, we'll go to the next page and we'll go through the arithmetic or we'll go through that process. And uh, I'll rewrite the conclusion, but this, this piece right here, again, the, the majorizing sequence implies this inequality, which ends up being, it ends up being a proof of this. Okay, it takes a minute or two to see it, but let's let's go let's go to the next page, uh, and do that. Okay, folks. Now, so this is all the the uh, permutations of the letters A, B, and C, and I wrote it out just for just to, so you'd see. Uh, a lot of people just do it in their heads when they present it, but so you have A, B, C here. That's one permutation. A, C, B is another, and there's six of them, right, folks? Three factorial permutations, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six permutations, all right? But what happens here is you just get A to the 10th twice, you get B to the 10th twice, and you get C to the 10th twice, which explains this equality symbol right here. And again, all these exponents of zero just made life pretty easy, right? Okay, so this is the result of uh, this symmetrical sum, if you want to call it that, all right? Now it's a little uglier over here and I did leave out a little bit of the work, but I'm using the other uh, uh, majorizing sequence of uh, 28 over three, one over three, one over three. And again, just to uh, make some sense of this, these two guys right here, uh, there would be 20, this would be 28 to the third, eight to the 28 to the third, eight to the 28 to the third. And you can just check it out by laws of exponents here. You would have two twenty. You would have two times a raised to the twenty-eight over three. But you take one of those one-thirds out, right? And then, so hopefully the algebra is fairly straightforward here. But it does happen twice. You see, tw uh, a to the twenty-eight over three happens twice. B to the twenty-eight over three happens twice. And C to the twenty-eight over three happens twice. And then all these other exponents are just raised to the one-third power. You see. And so what we did is we just took one of the one-thirds away from 28 over three to give 27 over three, which is the nine you see there. And again, that's a little bit of algebraic manipulation, not too difficult, but I could have written that step down. I chose to leave that out. And so you see, you have that happening one, two, three times, okay? But remember our initial condition is ABC is equal to one, right? ABC is equal to one. So we get that uh, this is just two times A to the ninth plus B to the ninth plus C to the ninth. Again, initial condition is ABC, product ABC is equal to one. All right, and so uh, that means that we have this piece right here. This piece right here is greater than or equal to this piece right here. And the twos nicely cancel out here. The twos cancel out. And there's the proof, folks. That is the proof. Muirhead's inequality proves it. Now, I saw somebody who just did the algebra and then just uh, applied the AMGM for the case N equals 30, I think. But Muirhead's just generalizes that whole thing.